this one's for those of you that complain persistently in my comments section that I constantly review watches that are too small. I get enough of that at home. I don't need it here as well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a watch with a little bit more size, a bit more girth. It's from RZE, so it's a titanium-based diver slash adventure watch. And it's pretty cool. They've sent me a watch with a black bezel and a white dial. So I'm happy. Let's hope you guys are too. Enjoy. Now there is something else you can do that will put a big smile on my face. Click that subscribe button and hit that bell notifications icon as well. So you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you enjoy my content, which I really hope you do. um, Yeah, maybe like this video. That'll do a really big solid for me and the channel. Right, let me um, talk to you about this RZE Aspire. This is the diamond white version. They also do a black on black. So black dial with a black bezel inserts. And um, there is a second bezel um, that comes with this watch, which I'll show you in a moment. I'll also put it on the watch. I think there's three screws around the outside of the bezel, and um, which allows you to remove the bezel and give it a good clean, or you can just put the second bezel on it. But yeah, um, this is the one they've sent me. Um, they must be familiar with my channel because I've said many, many times now, um, watches like this with black bezels and white dials, um, black accents as well on the dial, love it. I just love this sort of black and white combo. I don't know why, I just do. Now, before I go any further, I just want to let you know they have sent me this watch for free. I don't need to return it, and that is why you will have seen the includes paid promotion icon in the top left-hand corner. Right, um, this watch is made out of titanium. I think they make all of their watches out of titanium and they have a coating on it, ultra hex coating, um, which makes this particular titanium um, difficult to scratch. It's basically a protective coating. Um, but the clasp, it says in the listing, is 316L stainless steel. Um, it doesn't feel like it. Maybe there are some elements to this clasp that are 316L stainless steel. But yeah, um, it doesn't feel... Um, like a particularly chunky clasp. Um, so yeah, it's probably going to help with a little bit of weight distribution on the wrist actually because it is a large case. It's not particularly thick because you've got the Miyota 9015 in here. It is the date um, version of the 9000 series automatic movement, three-handed movement with the date complication at the six o'clock. And those movements um, are particularly slim actually. So yeah, it does allow you to make 300 meter divers that don't appear to be um, much thicker than your standard 200 meter divers. Um, so although this is um, quite a long and quite a broad case, um, it's not going to sit too high on your wrist. And you've got this um, sort of clever thing that they've done um, with the end links. Um, the spring bar holes, as you can see, or the drilled lugs, um, sit a decent um, sort of distance back. Um, the end links are a little bit shorter than the lugs look, and you've got female end links. So although the case does look um, quite long, it's going to fit average sized wrists pretty well. And yeah, I've had this one on my wrist and I think it looks all right for a 44 millimeter diameter diver. I believe this is 44 millimeters. I'll confirm all the dimensions and the weight in the bottom right hand corner when I do pop it on my wrist. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Interesting design, lots of angles, lots of corners, lots of facets. Um, it's not sharply finished, so you're not going to hurt yourself, but it is crisply finished um, in typical sort of titanium fashion. It's been bead blasted. Um, I don't think there's any polished surfaces on it. I haven't noticed any. Um, there are some surfaces on the bracelet that just look a little bit brighter, don't they? Um, these sort of bottom sections to um, the links, like this facet here, this one, and then this one and this one. Um, they just look a little bit more reflective, but I don't know if that's... Yeah, no, I think they are. I think they are just a little bit sort of more finely finished. Look, you can see the light play on those. Um, but not the rest of the bracelet. But I'm not seeing um, anything like that on the case. So it's a very sort of toolish finish. Um, lots of um, sort of pins and, and accessible elements on the bracelet. Look, um, the clasp is fairly substantial. You've got, I mean, a fairly substantial bracelet on it because it's a fairly substantial case on the fly adjustment system, which is nice. And we've seen this a few times. Um, so yeah, just push that button in and pull it out and then you can put it in, um, push it in individual clicks. It's not the nicest feeling 
And I don't know which parts of this clasp are steel and which parts are titanium. But um, whenever you have any moving parts um, that are made out of titanium, they just never feel quite as nice as they do when they're made out of steel. And yeah, it's the same for this. It's it's functional. Um, you know, it does the job, but it just doesn't feel particularly smooth. And it's the same for the bezel action. The clicks are um, actually pretty decent um, on the whole titanium divers don't tend to have very nice bezel actions again I think it's just something to do with the material and um, I don't think it's anything to do with the engineering um, but the clicks just don't sound crisp um, it feels a bit clunky and a bit sort of jumpy but it's smooth enough and the alignment is good on this watch um, so yeah let me bring it closer to the mic so you can have a listen So yeah, sounds okay, feels okay. Um, it's what you expect from a titanium diver, I think. Um, just look at that dial, really, really bright white dial. And I also like the fact that the loom in the applied indices um, seems to be nice and bright. Anyway, it's not very off colored, is it? It looks very similar um, to the color of the dial and to the markings on the bezel. Um, the bezel insert, by the way, is titanium, coated with DLC. Um, so diamond-like carbon or diamond-like coating, um, whichever one you want to use. Um, so, um, yeah, that is also going to be pretty scratch resistant. And the crystal as well, sapphire crystal with AR coating. So this is going to be a pretty tough, durable watch, and it would need to be, given its size. Um, yeah, if I was to wear this day in, day out, it's going to get bashed about quite a bit. Oh, look, I found another sort of slightly polished um, or slightly more reflective um, surface on the outer shell look and um, yeah this is one of the things um, that I don't like about titanium um, especially when it's sort of finely finished like this this sort of matte finish is um, it just gets grubby it just looks it, I don't think it's attracting dirt I think it's just the oils from your fingers um, I think it just makes it look a bit sort of grubby sometimes but um, the, of course the added advantage of titanium is it's super super light I mean this is a pretty big watch and according to the listing 100 to 120 grams um i'll give you the weight um of it as it is now sized up for my average sized wrist when i pop it on my wrist um right let's have a closer look at the dial i think it's fairly simple um but they've done it very nicely haven't they um a sort of coffin shaped marker at the 12 o'clock uh, i don't know how i feel about that um but yeah the rest of the markers um are interestingly shaped as well they're sort of um, almost arrow shaped but of course they don't go to a point and they've matched that with the date window as well which I like and um, good balance to this watch and um, because the date complication is at the six o'clock and um, yeah they've color coded it to some degree it's black and white which is pretty cool I love the hands really bold hands for a bold watch and bold is a good word I think to use to describe this watch everything about it is pretty bold I mean look at the size of the loom pip on the second hand and um, decent sized crown and um, that was um yeah comfortable to use and works very very nicely um but yeah really really crisply white dial isn't it you can see the blue ar coating on the crystal there look um yeah i like it i like the blacks around to the um markers the um applied indices i'll show you the loom at the end of the video i'll do a quick five minute loom degradation clip um strong chapter ring as well around the outside of the dial um, everything seems to line up nicely. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. 300M at the bottom there. Look, 300 meters of water resistance. So yeah, screw down crown, screw down case back, um, all titanium. I think the only steel is in the clasp apparently. Now, if you are going to use this watch for the purpose it was intended, and it is intended to be a sort of outdoor adventurer's um, diving watch, I guess. Um, it is a dive watch, but um, their brand is very much um, focused on outdoor equipment. Um, you may be interested in one of the links in my video description. It's going to take you to Kickstarter. They have a campaign ongoing at the moment for a tote, a sort of foldable bag and um, for all your everyday carry stuff. And um, it looks like it's already been backed. It's um, succeeded um, and it's had a pretty strong backing as well. So um, yeah, if you're interested in that, I'll put a link in the video description, it's not an affiliate link. Neither is the link to their website and um, where you can see this watch. Um, yeah, they've sent me the watch for free, but um, no affiliate links associated with this review. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, head over. But maybe finish watching the review first. Right, let's um, get it on the wrist, I think. Oh, no, no, I'm going to swap the bezels first.
Boom, done. Um, that was easy enough. I did that at arm's length looking through a screen, um, my phone, basically. So, yeah, if I can do it like that, that just shows how easy that was. The bezel action feels exactly the same. Um, so, yeah, that's going to allow you to, um, well, clean underneath the bezel, I guess, if you are, um, yeah, taking this watch out and doing adventuring stuff um, or just swap the bezel over. I think I'm going to swap it back, though, because, yeah, I definitely prefer the black bezel. Right, here it is then on my roughly average sized wrist, and I think it wears pretty well despite its dimensions. You would expect it to be a big watch, and it is a big watch, but yeah, it looks good on my average wrist. Um, I think the end links are contributing to that, the fact that they're a little bit shorter than the length of the case, and the fact that they're um, sort of female end links um, means that the downturn on the bracelet is fairly abrupt and yeah, looks good for sure. Good proportions, good dimensions and plenty of weight underneath my wrist. So it doesn't feel top heavy at all. 659 US dollars for this watch. I'm 10% off. I'll put a code in my video description. Again, it's not an affiliate discount code. It's just a standard um, discount code that they offer to new customers. Um, so yeah, 10% off for this. Takes the price to under $600, a Miyota 9000 series powered um, titanium dive watch like this. Um, it's okay value for money, isn't it? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Right, guys, as always, a massive thank you from me to you for tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notifications icon.